Hello friends, welcome. Today I am here again with another session and today I will discuss the chapter On the Face of It by Suzanne Hill. This chapter is very beautiful and also a deep meaning is hidden inside. In this chapter, the writer describes something which is even present in this scenario too. A very important thing is highlighted in this chapter. On the face of it, it is a one act play and consists of three scenes. Scene 1 Scene 2, and Scene 3. The entire story is divided into three scenes. Now, I would like to explain that in most of the plays, sometimes there are two, three acts, like if you read Shakespeare then you will find that there are two, three, four, five acts also in the plays. But in this play, on the face of it, we have just one act. And the act consists of three scenes. The first scene is very important because the entire story description is given in the first scene and then scene two and scene three. They are very small scenes and very, it's not that much difficult to understand. But the main focus is on the first scene. There are two main characters in this chapter. The old man and a 14 year old boy. The old man's name is Mr. Lamb and the small boy Derry. The first scene is located in the garden. Garden of Mr. Lamb. Before I start, I want to highlight one more thing that there is one similarity in both the characters that is physical impairment. The old man, he is having a tin leg and that small boy, he has a face that is burnt from one side. So in this way, they both are in one column. That means they both are physically impaired. The story begins. This small boy, he enters the garden of Mr. Lamb. Very slowly, his footsteps can be heard. And also, in the garden of Mr. Lamb, you could hear trees, leaves rustling, the birds are singing and as this boy enters in the garden, he could hear some sound. Mind the apples. This is the very first dialogue of this chapter by Mr. Lamb. Mind the apples. The boy replied, Who's that? Who's there? What? He was surprised. Why? Because this small boy Derry, he thought that the place was empty. Nobody was there. And even he climbed from the wall to enter that garden. When he sees that a person is standing there, he is also present. And after seeing that old man, he was a little bit startled. He tried to convince the old man I thought this place is empty. Now, Mr. Lamb, he tried to make that boy comfortable. He says, you are most welcome. The gate is open for everyone. He again, the small boy, he says, I thought this place is empty. The old man replied, yes, the house is empty. 
The moment I am still here in this garden, the house is empty. And then he told him to take care because the crab apples were lying on the grass. And he didn't want that the small boy should get some injury or he should fall because of those crab apples which were lying on the grass. After listening this, the old man also highlighted that this place is for everyone. The gate is open, but you climbed from the wall. The moment this old man, Mr. Lamb, highlighted this thing, the boy was a little bit annoyed because he came to know that the old man was watching him. Now, Derry wanted to leave that place. He said, okay, I, now I have to go. Hearing this, the old man tried to make that boy comfortable again. He said, no worries, you can be here for a longer time. No need to be worried. Why are you afraid? This boy, he was surprised because this boy, he was not in a habit to be with people. He didn't like that. And then he said the same thing to the old man. The old man tried to explain that little boy. He just gave a good explanation with a very important concept that was of weeds. Students, you need to remember five important things that are explained in this scene one. Now this old man, he gave a very good example. He could see that the boy, the face was burnt and this boy, he knows very well that whenever someone is in front of him and after seeing his face, some people they are scared and some people they have sympathy for that small boy. Before that, this old man, then he came to know that the boy is worried, the boy is hesitating because he is not willing to socialize with other people. He is always happy to remain alone. The reason is because of his burnt face. Then this old man, he gave a very good example of the weeds. He told that boy, look, there you can see weed garden. I don't understand why people say for few plants, they say these are green plants, flowers, trees and why weeds are highlighted separately. You know, in the previous video, I explained you about weed. Weed are basically wild plants. They are useless according to human beings. But for this old man, they are also green. They are also growing. And so how we can say that? How we can differentiate? So after giving explanation of this weed, this old man highlighted one more thing to that small boy, Derry, that in a way, we both are same. After hearing this thing, this boy was surprised. How come? We both are not the same. You are an old man and I am a young boy. So how we are, how, what is the similarity? The old man further explained a very good thing. He tried to convince that small boy of 14 year old. He said, you have a burnt face and I am having a tin leg. After hearing this, this boy was little bit surprised. Tin leg? How come? Certainly because of some war? Yes. 
So this is the similarity. After saying this thing, the boy was not that much convinced. This old man, students, mark the words, this old man was a kind of psychologist for this small boy. These days, we hear a lot about psychology and for so many psychological problems, we go to some psychological center, we go for counseling session, students, after understanding this chapter, you will come to know that this old man is a kind of psychologist for this small boy. Because this small boy was little bit in a state where no positivity could be seen. He was not optimistic at all because of his own physical impairment. And this old man, he tried to motivate that boy. He inspires that boy to lead a meaningful life. And after explaining this, another important thing that is beauty and beast. You all must have heard this fairy tale, Beauty and the Beast. This old man, see how he is trying to convince that small boy, Derry, so that he could change his attitude, he could change his perspective. He says, you heard about this Beauty and the Beast? He said, yes, every time people, they are telling me such fairy tales. And I know that there was a princess who fell in love with the beast. And after kissing this beast, he was turned into a prince. But nobody is going to do such thing with me. And my, this burnt face, it will remain like this only. There will be no change. After hearing this thing, this old man, he tried another method. He came up with another story to explain this boy that in this world there are so many other things which can be stared at. Because when this boy came to know about the tin leg, he told him that he could have covered, he could have wore some trouser so that he can cover that tin leg. So this old man suggested that there is no need to hide something. There are other things where we can focus. Other things? What other things? Then this old man said, trees, flowers, bushes, they are so much all around. Then the boy said, yes, obviously, my face too. In a way, after hearing a lot, we can understand that this boy Derry is occupied in his own thoughts because of his physical impairment. And then he even described one incident. He told that old man that once when I was on the street, I saw two women and they were talking about me. One of the women, she said, look, look that face. It is something, the most terrible thing, the ugliest thing. Now this old man, he is quite intelligent. He told that boy, they might be talking about something else. How can you say that? This highlights another thing. That it is up to us that what is our perspective, what we think, that is more important. And then this boy, he continued, the old man after hearing a lot from that boy, he again tried 
his level best so that he can come out of his own thoughts and he told that boy okay fine if you are not willing to be with people around you then you do one thing you go and lock yourself in the room and never you you just be there for your entire life no need to come out from that room and after saying this he told one story so in this scene another important thing is story story told by that old man he told him once there was a man he was very scared of everything in the world because he used to think that he might get some harm he might slip on some banana skin and he might get some injury he was always scared with each and everything in the world and what he did he locked himself in the room after locking him, himself in the room he was just sitting on his bed then what happened a painting a picture was there and then that picture fell off the wall and this man died after hearing this story the small boy laughed because he understood that what this old man mr lam is trying to explain to that small boy after hearing that story this small boy he asked mr lam okay tell me what you do all day the boy was very keen to know this old man said i sit in the sun i enjoy the beautiful day i read a lot don't think that this house is totally empty no you can see many books in the house and one more thing see there are no curtains i don't like curtains why because i like the light and the darkness so when the light is there i want that light to enter my house and when the darkness i want that darkness also plus the windows are always open why the windows are open so that he could hear the sound of the wind he gives another important explanation a very good example in the same scene that is hive of bees now this hive of bees he explains that for some people bees they are just buzzing off but for some people that sound is not of that buzzing it is something different it is humming humming means singing so in a way this old man wants to explain that the most important thing is our perspective the way we perceive things so in this the first scene he highlighted these points he talks about weeds beauty and beast he describes a story and also hives of bees one more thing as i told you about five important things then the fifth one is that incident which i described two women they were talking so these are five important things in the first scene and here the first scene ends and then after hearing the daily routine of that old man now this boy he is willing to help that old man because old man wants that this boy should help him for collecting that crab apples the boy said okay i will help but i'm not willing to come to this place again and if i want to then i need to inform my mother the old man said okay you go and inform your mother this old man was very sure that this boy will not come back again and here the first scene ends and now comes 
the second scene the scene where dairy's house now another character is entered dairy's mother a very small scene a small conversation is there between dairy and his mother dairy informed his mother about that old man and dairy's mother she told him no need to go don't go to that place stay at home but this boy he is willing to go back to that old man because now this small boy dairy is not the same person which he was in the beginning before meeting the old man a gradual change is there in that boy and he said i am not bothered what people think about him i want to go there because i want to hear that person talking i want to listen even i want to help that old man and then he came back to mr lamb's garden this is a very small scene in which just a small description a conversation between dairy and his mother after this the last scene that is scene 3 the third scene here this old boy sorry this small boy dairy he comes back to that old man what he observed when he entered that place again the small garden of that old man he observed that this mr lamb was lying on the grass he came forward because do you remember this old man wanted some help from this boy for collecting those crab apples with the help of a ladder and stick and he could see that the ladder was there on the grass and even this old man was lying he tried that the old man should listen to him mr lamb mr lamb but no answer and then he realized that mr lamb was no more he kneeled down and the small boy he started crying and here the third scene ends that is again the scene in the garden see the writer has given a very pathetic end to this chapter on the face of it so friends although the end is very pathetic because the old man died but we need to see the another aspect of the story and what is that whatever positivity that old man was having he transferred that positivity positivity to this boy that is dairy so the main thing that is highlighted in this chapter and we need to understand and not just understand we need to follow that thing in our life we see around so many physical impaired persons and what is our perspective we just want to show some sympathy towards them no it's not like that we should not differentiate that this is something different from the society no each and everybody is having some we can say a spark within us we just have to focus that thing and no matter if somebody is physically impaired or not we don't need to show sympathy towards them no we should also consider them equal to us because there are possibilities we just need to focus we just need to choose that what we want in our life no matter if the obstacles the hurdles are on physical level or mental level if we are fully determined if we have 
positive perspective, optimistic, op optimistic perspective within us, then we can challenge any hurdle and we can reach to that level of success. This is all for today. Thank you so much. Please like, subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon.